Please recall the witness's testimony. And she said she knocked away the man who was holding up the knife. See, in the next instant, the jar was hit and flew through the air. See, now tell me, what could have sent the, sent the jar flying? So I'm, I'm guessing that may, so that's how it fell over, I suppose. Um, wait. Right. I have to have been, wait. Right. The impact of my man when he was knocked in the wall. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, see if I may draw your attention to this picture once more. If the man was knocked in the direction of the shelf the jar was sitting on, uh, okay. What would he have hit? The the shelf which the jar was sitting on. Ah, uh, excuse me. Ah, uh, see, uh, the suit of armor holding a very sharp and dangerous looking sword. Okay, so, so Dark managed to get the sword. Then is that what we're saying? Let's see, yes. And since the man who was knocking the armor was carrying a broken knife, he would, he would have to have been Neil Marshall wielding the prosecutor's award. No, Mr. Wright, you can't be thinking. Yes, so he, so he, he hit the same thing. There is another possibility of what actually transpired in that room. Another possibility! Of course, the perpetrator would have had no idea, but nevertheless, dot dot dot, see, I. I don't know if I can go through with this. Wait. Mr. Wright, what's the matter? I want to see. If events took place, as the events theorizes, then the outcome is obvious. In that moment, assuming the man and the sky knocked away was actually Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He, so, he was killed on... So, Emma killed Marshall on the sword, and then, and then Dark... Moved the body. Is that how we're... Emma actually killed Neil. You mean Mr. Marshall died because of me? No! Damn. Thud. Did she just like pass out? I never imagined her testimony would lead to this. So that is why I later wanted to stop it, was to prevent Emma from realizing that. So, so it was a witness who took the victim's life, see, and then proved so with her own testimony. This is unprecedented, of course, see, that would count as manslaughter, I guess, and of course she's, she was and still is a juvenile, so she's probably going to get off for it, as she rightfully should. Uh, Elaine's going to say, what? What are you saying? I'm sorry, Miss Sky, but given the circumstances, Joe Dark murdered Prosecutor Marshall. That's not what the evidence says. How can you think it was Emma? How dare you try to pin the crime on her? I'm not trying. To, she didn't really commit a crime. I imagine that coming from you. Exclamation point. If you recall, it was you who admitted to forging evidence two years ago. The reason you moved Prosecutor Marshall's body was to keep anyone else from finding out about what Emma did, wasn't it? I assure you, Mr. Edgeworth, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. If you hope to have anyone believe your insane allegations, I'm afraid you're going to have to have proof. Tell me, do you have any conclusive evidence that proves my sister, Neil, Neil Marshall, uh, evidence? <laughs> She's asking that truth, but I'm going to have to be the one who probably has to actually give it. I'm willing to bet you don't. Yes, it's, uh, it would be difficult to prove this with, with evidence. If we don't have evidence, then we have to rely. On testimony. I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Are we gonna have Emma testify again? I was, it looked like she got knocked out, like she passed out from the shock. Both parties involved in the incident are dead. Right. That would be your fault because you had Joe Dark executed. See? Exclamation point. See? You certainly can't get dead people to testify. Unless. Don't tell me. See, this has all been a wild goose chase. You're gonna get... Don't tell me. Are we gonna have Maya just come back? That would actually be kind of cool, although kind of random as well. See, 
Hmm, to shame this guy. Of course, that only leaves us with one possibility. That's to me. You mean there's still another possible? Perhaps that could also be another reason she uh, she had Joe Dark uh, sort of framed for it and executed because um, because. Oh, uh, shoot. What was I going to say? Beca because, you know, that way he couldn't testify later. See, what do you mean, Mr. Adjoff? See, I mean, the possibility that the victim has left us a message. What? See, for better or for worse, Mr. Marshall did not die instantly. He had tendency. He may have left behind the name of the person who took his life. Somehow. What? what why would he do that? That's... That's impossible. Well, Mr. Wright, this is the only possibility left to you. Why is he asking me? It's Edgeworth making all these claims. Hey. A message from the deceased. Does such a message exist? Hey. I've got to think back to the court record. Hey. The real murder the name the victim may have left behind is in the evidence or doesn't exist. I'm going to take a state. I'm going to say, let's look at the court record, I suppose. Um, let's see, let's... Oh, we can check the attorney's badge. Okay. I wonder if we can actually, like, examine anything about it. I've never seen anything. Say, oh, we can. Huh. Well, then let's just do it for the back of it. I never actually bothered to look at the attorney's badge before. See, my number is 28381. See, the number is engraved on the back of the badge. There, I wish they'd put my name on it instead. So it looks like it says somewhat... Oh, defense attorney is what it says. See. Number oh, it's the same little message. Okay, so we're gonna have to find and see. Did the marshal leave a message somehow? Maybe on the prosecutor trophy? No, I don't think so. Um, say Edgeworth's knife wouldn't have been around at the time, nor the parking stub, nor the blue badger, nor Goodman's autopsy victim's note, playing his cell phone. Parking about floor plans, crime photo, vacant shoes, switchblade knife. See, perhaps it could be on the switchblade knife. Somehow, I doubt it. But let's try. Uh, can we? Um, can we open up the knife? See, I remember this was fidgety before. I don't think it's gonna be it. Let's try something else instead. Say, aluminum testing fluid. Huh. Actually. That could may maybe reveal something. See, ID card record, fingerprinting set, screwdriver. Oh, let's check to see if there's anything about the screwdriver. No, I don't think there's gonna be any messages there. See, Dumbin's lost item report, evidence from four pans, rubber glove, evidence locker, my unstable jar. See, I don't see any. Huh. Actually. Let's examine. See, see, the dark red stains must 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 be blood traces. Blood traces from the incident two years ago. Wait a second. That actually does look like. I was just gonna see. That could be an E. There and then an M. And then, so that would be why Gant would want to hide it. See, only the fragment found in Chief Gant's office still has has lines remaining on it. So Gant tried to hide that because of it, or perhaps it was Lena. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say it's in the evidence. All right, this message from the deceased is already in our possessions, Mr. Wright. Hey, will you stop at nothing to prove my sister a murderer? No, only a manslaughterer. Do not be mistaken, Miss Sky. Hey, exclamation point. Our purpose is not to accuse Emma of any crime. There is only one thing we seek, the truth. No matter how painful it may be. Now then, Mr. Wright, please show us a piece of evidence that conveys a message from the deceased. Okay. So, it's gonna be that jar, probably. See, let's present it. This is the message left by the deceased. This is that blue badger from before, right? Okay, so it's not just a generic, uh, thing, see. Oh, is he going to just speak the killer's name? 
If, if that thing could, I'm sure it would. I mean, looks like everyone's forgotten that this is just a jar. <laughs> a message was left here, on the surface of this jar. Hmm, excuse me. What do you mean? If you look closely, you can see a faint trail of blood on this jar. It looks like someone wiped the blood away. No, no, no. Yes, but notice, see, for some reason, the blood on some of the fragment, fragments was not wiped away because they weren't in Gant's office. So, perhaps, um. Are we gonna use aluminum testing fluid, perhaps? Um. See, let. I, I was gonna. Or. Also, see. The. There was the cloth which had Emma's fingerprints on it. Although Emma's fingerprints wouldn't be on there unless she wiped it away herself. Yes, there's a line here! Drawn in blood! See. So, what you're saying is that these dots were once lines. Um, Prosecutor Marshall did not die instantly. He used a few precious moments left to him to leave behind a message. Wait, would he have even known Emma's name when come to that event? See, one that someone apparently left away. The blood must have seeped into the jar. Where the lines change directions. Wait, so they're nodes, basically. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points, and the victim's message will become apparent. Wait, no. No. See. That's right! See, what kind of message did the victim leave for us? See, Your Honor, see, I believe these blood stains will reveal to us the answer. See, I've got to connect these dots to make letters. There's only one thing a victim would have written given the circumstances. The murderer's name. So, connect the blood traces. Okay, let's do that. So, there we go. Have see. So, uh, it's happening. It's happening. So... Connect that one. Yep. There we go. Let's see. And connect those two. And there we go. Let's see. I can't connect the E, so let's just present that. It's a defense attorney's duty to prove his client's innocence. That's why all I've been thinking about is saving Lena. After all my efforts, I never thought it would turn out like this, to incriminate Emma. Yeah. Emma, see. So this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left behind. And Lena's like, what have you done? Yeah. Of all people! She may not have meant it! But in the end, uh, the one who took the victim's life was Emma Sky. See, Jake Marshall isn't going to be happy about that. See, was she carried away or something? She's not at the stand anymore. See, oh god, see, that's gonna be Ganton. See, well, you can't say I didn't warn you. See, he said that Edgy would regret, re regret it. See, Chief Gant, see, do you understand? Or is he? Do you understand the implications of what you've done? What? What are you talking about? Two years ago, Joe Dark was sentenced to death. He was convicted because of his final murder. Which didn't act he didn't actually do. I believe you were the prosecutor in that case, were you not? Ah. Yes, worthy. Because of you, an innocent man was sentenced to death. Yeah. Not only that, but you use false evidence to ensure his conviction. Uh, uh, so, Edgeworth's not gonna be empty. But Joe really was a serial murderer, that's undeniable. I'm afraid that's not important. Didn't you know, we aren't defenders of justice. Unfortunately, but you know, it's just. It, we we're, are we're trying to prove he did that one crime and that one crime only. Well, we're the keepers of the law. Sentencing a man to death is no light matter, even if there wasn't any cover-up or evidence forgery. Ultimately, the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. Does it now? If he was given forged evidence, then no, it doesn't. Say, dot, dot, dot. Despite what anyone may say, this fact cannot be denied. There, it sounds like they're cheering now. What's going on at the prosecutor's office? 
They might, they might have sent an innocent man to his death. How can he just stand there like it wasn't his fault? It wasn't his fault. See? Order! 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 Let me guess, he's not going to be able to silence them. See? The gavel's pounding fell on deaf ears. Unable to settle the crowd, the judge declared a recess. See? Where this trial is headed, no, this trial is headed, no one knows. Okay, to be continued. Okay. I think uh, that's going to be about two videos there, and I'm going to end them. See? I am Hagen Dash, and I'm out.